I really love film cameras. I love arming them with film and then taking pictures for the next seven to 10 years. And I just got mine developed for this camera. And the first picture is my dog. I made three friendship journals. What they are, there's just a whole bunch of questions between you and another person to get to know each other really well. And you write each other's answers down. And then a year from now, you will go through those questions again and you get to see what has changed um, and how your friendship changed and how each other has changed. So the INFJ loop, um, and I actually, I need to preface this. Um, I've done this video several times and I've come to realize this is a very difficult video for me to do um, because I got to experience the chronic version of this loop um, firsthand um, with, with my brother. And every single time I keep trying to describe what's happening, it, um, I find myself getting really lost and even I kept redoing the videos and I just couldn't find the words and I, yeah, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little tense. <laughs> it's still very personal for me. And so, um, I just want to preface with that. Uh, so the INFJ function stack <clears throat> is, uh, introverted intuition, extroverted feeling, introverted thinking, and then extroverted sensing. And so I just want to go over that the, the loop itself is not a bad thing. Um, it's actually a way for us to be able to gain a new perspective. Um, and so for introverts, we go in more and for extroverts, they go out more. Um, and so what can happen though, is that when we get stuck in this loop, we can become obsessive over something. Through my research of the loops, I just want to express what that obsession looks like and then also be able to share some things that might be able to help to get out of that loop. So with the INFJ, when they go into their loop, they become tirelessly in their own mind and their own thoughts. And one of the things that kind of really touches home for me is that I've gotten to witness this loop become more and more intense for my brother. INFJs really need alone time to be able to clear their minds, to think through things, to organize things uh, before going back out into the world again and interacting with people. And so you need to protect that space for them. But what can happen is that they get so stuck in their loop, they become so secluded that it buries them in a wall of isolation. They get so much in their thoughts, they can't find time to be with those who they really love and connect with them. What ends up happening is that their introverted intuition is coming up with theories about the future. And then their introverted thinking starts to attack those theories with facts, trying to search out the truth about them. But then their introverted intuition starts to theorize on those facts that were discovered. And so the obsession that starts happening with the INFJ is that they're obsessing over every little detail, they're refining everything, and basically they're trying to find perfection. But in doing so, they push themselves into a chronic state of stress and doubt. Instead of filtering introverted intuition through their extroverted feeling, which is much more driven to create um, a community around them and serving the people around them. It's now going through introverted thinking, which is pushing them to constantly refine to find perfect results. But they end up finding answers that they're not satisfied with. And so they keep pushing themselves and pushing themselves and start coming up with crazy outlandish ideas. Another thing that can happen too is that if they're looking for input from someone else, they want to take what they say as 100%. They want to find someone they can trust 100%, but then they realize that they always have to have their guard up and never be able to take a piece. Um, they're kind of in a way looking for someone to bring them absolute clarity. So a way to break out of this, um, first, it's very important to recognize what is causing the loop to happen. But that's something that you're gonna have to figure out how to find out. And it's really good to have a friend to help you isolate those things to be able to recognize this is causing a lot of stress and pushing me into this loop. But what you can also do is seek help. So even just saying like finding someone to help you isolate those things, it's just you need to find someone to help you. And yes, it's not going to be 100% perfect. No one is 100% perfect. God is 100% perfect. And that's about it. But we also need relationships with each other. And so to isolate yourself away um, is not going to allow you to have the space um, to healthily engage all of your senses and your person. 
And what also you can do is to find a way to pour yourself into somebody, like to help somebody else. Um, and what other people can do is to request your help or invite them to help others in some way. But the biggest thing I want to leave off with is that INFJs, you, you really do need to invite people into that space. You are not alone in the struggle of life. Um, yes, you are an impressive mind machine. Um, making yourselves known. Finding a way to finding a way to directly poke at what's valuable and needed for you, I think is a very good um, first step to know how to communicate and build a bridge for other people when you say, I need this from you. I need this to happen. Can we engage in this way? I think is a very good first thing to do. And then other people who have an INFJ in their life, they need to be very conscientious of their needs and to be supportive of them. They desperately need that space to be alone and work through their their struggles and, and just normal life stuff. But there is a space that it's good to get involved with their lives and hearing them out and providing opportunities for them just to keep them out of the spiraling thoughts. So I hope that was helpful in some regard. I'll just end with, um, these are my friendship journals and I really hope they really help people uh, connect with one another better. And link is in the description below if that is something that you might be interested in. And if you're an INFJ, please share your experiences down below because I know that as an INTP, I am only seeing things from a 10,000 foot view. I would really love for you to put in um, your experiences, how you've worked through them, because um, I know a lot of other INFJs could really benefit from your input. So I'll see you guys in another video, another life. You never know. See ya!